Welcome back to another episode where I am late by extreme amount of time and um, as seconds shown by the title, you'll be able to find out why this season, but this episode. But here we are at the end of practice for the Japanese Grand Prix and we're just going to compare our time to Neighborhood and Mechio, even though we can't because I don't run the medium tires. So um, here we are at the interviews now and um, obviously Mechio is enjoying themselves the home crowd, their home crowd, because yeah, who doesn't? Um, yeah, they're working hard, always improving on mistakes. Well, only two questions that time, and here we are getting resource points from the end of every single practice session, as I've simulated FE2 and FE3, because I don't need to do them. Matty Shield should go to a level 7 acclaim in qualifying so um, that'd be nice to see and um, got to make sure that we remember to change our power unit com uh, power unit components for qualifying today and um, Jeff asking if we're feeling confident not really but um, yeah Suzuka's quite a um, mid-track um, set the ones a bit like um, maggots and beckets over and over again so um, yeah not too bad but here we are changing our engine components now and um, seems like we've got the um, best of eight each component, which is a little bit annoying. So, we are just going to go straight to qualifying at the Japanese Grand Prix. So here we are now, as you can see, I have a um, purple helmet because um, I recorded this on the Sunday where um, Lewis Hamilton won his 7th Drivers' Championship to equal Michael Schumacher's record, so not too bad. But we're going to come across the line to set our first lap now and it's going to be enough for P10 with a 28.8, hopefully we can improve that because it doesn't look quite good. Only ahead of Magnussen, Russell and then getting the TP, but going through on our second lap, we lose the whole rear end on the um, um, left hander of Dunlop Curve, I believe it's called. So um, we bring out yellow flag and um, we're going to go back to the garage because no point. So on board for our final lap now, if we don't have enough time for level one. Going in, um, towards turn one, Max fuel mode and Max DRS deployment. Heading towards turn one now, not even breaking until we get to the middle of the curbing. Go all the way around turn two. Make sure to not get on the curb on the exit of turn two. Going through turn three, lift for um, turn four as well. Turn five, lift again. Make sure you stay in fifth gear. Turn six, go um, into fourth gear. Turn up curb. Turn seven now. Get as close as you can to the curb on the entry and exit. Going through um, towards the sh um, double corners now. Two tenths up. Going six and then four. Third. I mean. Going under the bridge now, heading towards the hairpin. It's quite uphill, so you're going to have to brake kind of early. And, and we brake nice and early going into first and short shifting up into second gear. We are now 20th in qualifying. Hopefully, we can improve on that as we go through towards spoon curve and braking about 25, but we lose a bit of time on the exit because we go super wide. So we lose about half a tenth. But then we gain a tenth and a half back as we're now going three and a half tenths up, heading towards um, uh, one thirty R. Max has happened setting the fastest lap after Charles Leclerc. Um, pole position is now one minute twenty six five from Max. Hopefully he can um, ruin the Mercedes um, domination as we head towards the um, line. Now we're going four tenths up. What's it going to be? An improvement to P seventeen. Not too bad, but I think we could have done better. And we are going to look at the results now. Lewis Hamilton down in 11th, with, along with Alex Albon in 13th. And we get 17th, which is not too bad. Williams and Haas locking out the final row. Unfortunately, we do qualify behind Kimi and Nobuharu, which is a little bit annoying. Especially when um, Claire gets the wrong question. 
Um, today was Neighbor Harvey's day. Um, and I need to learn how they did it. I mean, obviously they done that because otherwise um, they wouldn't have gotten ahead of me. Great. Well, that's everything. Thank you. Um, unfortunately, we qualify behind Pierre Gasly. Hopefully, we can beat them next season. Um, two points up on us at the moment. Three races to go. So, um, that should end after Brazil. Um, like I said, Maishi are going up to level 7 acclaim. And we go to about halfway between level 12 and level 13. So, we should be able to get that around Brazil or Abu Dhabi. And, um... Here we are at the workstation. We um, should go straight to the races. There's not much to do. Um, saving up those 1,000 resource points for the R&D reset that could possibly be coming. Uh, although I'm stupid enough to try and get some still. But let's go to the race now. Welcome along then to the magnificent Suzuka International Circuit, a stone's throw away from Isa Bay in the beautiful Japanese countryside. What surprises lie in wait for us today in the Japanese Grand Prix? A lap of this historic racetrack covers 3.6 miles, and it's the only time during the season that we race on a figure of eight racetrack. The drivers can expect some intense G-forces through the 18 corners on offer here as they experience some of the highest average apex speeds on the Formula One calendar. And keep an eye out for overtakes going into the final chicane. Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for the race today. Why don't we start by talking about Valtteri Bottas? That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Bottas, Sebastian Vettel, and Sainz, Ricardo, Ocon, Perez, and Lance Stroll, Hamilton, Albon, Daniel Kvyat, and Matsushita. Raikkonen, the engineer, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Kevin Magnussen. Grosjean, Russell, Latifi, and Pierre Gasly picks up the final grid slot today. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. So you may have seen from the driver standings this that um, Valtteri Bottas so leads by 80 three. points, meaning he only watching. needs to get 24 more points Nen Hamilton to win the um, Drivers' Championship in this race, but I don't think he will, so um, he'll probably have to win it in the next one in USA. But here we are, ready for the five lights now. We've got Motoshita and Albon ahead of us. As the lights out, away we go towards um, turn one. Now we've got a good stop, and then we get too much wheel spin, and we've got a hass on our entire of Kevin Magnussen. Going towards turn one, we um, lose out to Giovinazzi and Kevin Magnussen, but we're going to go on the inside of both of them get on the grass and that's a little bit annoying but then we lose the rear end and we go onto the grass and we can't get back on the track until Russell goes past us. Um, bad start but um, luckily we're still ahead of Pierre Gasly so we can um, keep that in our good books. Going towards um, the end of sector one now hopefully we can stay within touch of Russell to try and overtake him but we're going on the grass on the um, end of um, turn seven and towards turn eight and nine towards uh, before turn ten and eleven. Turn nine now I am okay, but I'm um, heading towards turn 10 and 11 now, 11 air hairpin, but we're going to dive right up the inside of pretty much everyone, because um, Gasly was on our uh, outside, so he kind of forced us towards the inside. And um, 17th now, and Jeff is um, telling us to focus now. Max Verstappen still leading Grand Prix with 130.3, but we used the rear end on the exit of the um, final corner now. Magnussen going to try and look at getting past us. He's not quite close enough towards turn one, but he actually got much, much quicker speed in that Ferrari of his, so he easily gets past us into turn one. Okay, and now we're back to down to P18, as um, Jeff um, tells us that. Heading towards Dunlop Curve now, I do believe that's actually the name, but we go too early on the turn in, and um, as we head towards the turn eight and nine um, corners now, 
Grosjean getting quite close to us as um, Pierre Gasly has now got past both Williams but we get a bad um, run out of turn 9 and that allows Grosjean to go up our um, inside for turn 10, outside for turn 11, the hairpin. Don't know why the uh, kink is called turn 10. Heading towards Spoon, we're squeezing Grosjean all the way to the outside but um, he get past us and we're on the inside for Spoon. Are we going to try and make the move? Or quite look like we were. We lose the rear end once again, and we're going onto the grass and gravel this time now. As um, we make a little bit of contact with Russell, and that's us down into P22. Uh, that's unfortunate. 29 free from Max Stappen. And what we're going to do is go slow set 36 to. Yeah, uh, that's really annoying. But things happen, so um, yeah. And towards turn one, the is enabled, and then we've got some more troubles for our things. I, there's a saying, but I can't remember it. Power is going to be down from the ICE, according to Jeff, because, um, yeah, we're losing quite a bit of power from the engine, because it's getting quite warm. 33-2, we can sit on that lap now, approaching the pit windows, and um, we'll be on the mediums, not too bad. Close stuff on to um, Russell and the TT on the end of lap four, so, um, yeah. Hopefully we can close in and overtake him before our pit stops as um, we get towards the TV. Now he has a little bit of a squirm on the um, 130R. We go towards the chicane and we're going to make the move on the TV just like Anthony uh, and David Croft um, told us to look out for overtakes into the chicane. Thank you, Jeff. Um, pit window now, so um, we're going to be boxing this lap for mediums. Thank you, Jeff. I do need to push. I do, I do know that. So we're going to come in now behind George Russell, Russell actually not hitting, neither is Latifi, so we're going to be one of the only ones. Uh, ay, ay, ay. Five second penalty for speeding in pit lane by one kilometre per hour, which is um, more trouble for my wear, something like that, I swear that's what it is. Green light now, 2.1 second pit stop, not too bad from the boys, Giovinazzi, Perez, Sainz and Ricardo seem to have all pitted as well and I've um, got to get eat into the tyres to try and overcut, uh, undercut um, George Russell who is now pitting, Gasly also pitting as well along with Grosjean. Um, we seem to get past Russell but not Grosjean so um, that spin, um, half spin maybe, at the exit of Spoons has um, lost, uh, made us lose out. Yeah, um, Lap 8 now, heading towards um, 130R, um, got some wear on the MG UK, and um, we turned off overtake, but not for that reason. Heading towards lap eight, 9 now, the TV pits, and I'm um, going to put us up into P20, which um, probably is going to be the best that we can get that this race, but this is the lap that you've all been waiting for. This is the reason why the title of the video is the title. Heading towards turn one, quite um, fine. Going into turn two, breaking a little bit of a lockup, I believe. Um, heading towards turn three and four now, getting on the grass. What happened? And we're out. Okay? And it still pains me to this day. Cause, yeah, my the reason this video is out so late is because of stress, and this didn't help the stress. Uh, uh, stress of life, this, YouTube, all of it, all explained and showed in one crash, and yeah, all the pain was released at this very moment. Ah, oh, still almost bringing tears to me now. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. That's it then for another fantastic Grand Prix here in Japan. A brilliant victory that has thoroughly earned the applause from the sellout crowd here today. And talk to me. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them?
I'd say it was down once again to good consistent driving, nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams and they're certainly proving themselves. So as I was saying, the stress and the pain made me cry. And it almost is making me cry now. So that's why this video is late, and that's why Russia is late, and that's why USA, Mexico, Abu Dhabi and Brazil are all going to be next week. Let's see how the driver I hope you're going to understand. More points for Valtteri Bottas, further solidifying and, um, his lead yeah. at the top of the table. Now, it's not the end of the game, because um, later on, I'm going to We had the pace, a uh, fast lap of 31-1, um, in but only a couple of tenths quicker and then solid, three people ahead of us. The rest were much quicker than us. Maybe Haru, five tenths quicker than us on his fastest lap. But then again, that was probably after we had um, done really bad. Um, Lando Norris getting second in um, his McLaren. Gautry Bottas um, didn't win the Grand Prix, so he can't have won the Drivers' Championship now. Um, he gained 16 minus 7, he gained 9 points. Lewis. So that's 89 points he leads now. Yeah, there's not much to talk about. Um, I'd lost the rear end. That's basically what happened. Your teammate beat you today. Was it a setup issue or something else? Um, yeah, let's just not talk about that. Do you think they enjoyed themselves out there today? Um, yeah, let's not. Sounds like there's some work to do back at the factory. <laughs> this is me in a bad mood. Gasly now goes six points up in the rivalry, and um, meaning now that he's technically won. There's no way I can come back from this. Um, so yeah. Um, getting some acclaim now. Around the L of acclaim. It's a bit weird though. Um, and the um, sponsor was from Alcalaz. And. Um, that's a bit weird. 30k for suspension, but 50k for front wing. Hmm. Anyway, no, we don't have any cash to um, afford. I'm actually at the moment, but um, yeah. Um, hopefully we can look at some activities to change that. And I do believe we're going to go with some aerodynamic focus because, I mean, it's the only thing we can do. But no, we actually go for weight training. And then we go for vehicle PR filming, I believe. Maybe esports event actually at the in the end. But um, yeah, unfortunate racist. Weight trainer. And we do go for and esports. Look, vehicle PR filming. Invitation event. So um, hopefully we can do well in that. But, um, yeah. And we're gonna say later on. Yeah. See everyone doing well. And, um, yeah. I don't. So, yeah. That's basically it. Um, quite easy. Um, um, level is there. Or lap 2 also. And we would stay more and turn 2. Yeah, for sure. Um, Intercom 2, we're not that open, and we're not that close, but Intercom 2, we're going to make a dive on and a half, and then we get into P4. And in the first time, basically, we need to get first. And um, Uncle Leslie, in um, that same lap, in third, we rotate him into turn 5. Um, go quite deep, but we um, managed to stay ahead of him. Not um, too bad. Um, lap 3 now, Sarvi. And position two. Gonna put inside and then um, that makes us in P2 now. But five seconds to gain. Can we do that on P1 within a set? Uh, no. Only gain two seconds. 
but um, yeah, I fail in this one because I see other people doing this and I don't. It don't help your case. Um, zero balance, zero your strengths. Yeah. Yes, you're gonna turn down the AI. Because that is too much for me. One of us is weak, some good news. It's like they're making good profit runner against Alvin and Goss. I don't know why it took me so long to say that. 1.15 million now, and um, got quite well to build a USA GP. If you can spot that and do well there, and I do believe that is the GP there to find out about our um, RD. Um, yeah, it is. So um, RD is uh, coming for next episode. Watch out for that. Um, changing the components to new ones. And meaning that we will be starting that back in here now. What for you USA? And hopefully um, we can do well at least. And um, just gonna change it to soft tires. And just looking at everything else, but I think that is gonna be it for all. There's a uh, no um thing now. So um other um show things that things up and next slide whatnot. Um and until next time, I'm in relation to me. Goodbye. From London to Simon, I've been really annoyed about it. Comment your thoughts in the uh, comment your thoughts in the comments. Yeah. It's the first time I've gone the whole thing.